Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down an exciting heavyweight clash that's going down this weekend. Curtis Blades vs. Sergei Pavlovich. This fight is essentially a title eliminator fight, and the winner is going to get John Jones. Or Stipe if he somehow beats John. So without further ado, let's get into this breakdown. Blades is a wrestler-based heavyweight who can pack a punch as well. His most recent fight was against Tom Aspinall, in which Aspinall got injured 15 seconds into the fight after delivering a leg kick. That belt was given as a win for Blades. That fight was in July of last summer, so we haven't seen Curtis in the octagon for a while. Pavlovich, on the other hand, is also coming off a win. It was a first-round finish over Tai Tuivasa, in which he looked like the more powerful man. Same type of thing happened in his fight with Derek Lewis, where he also secured a first-round finish. Pavlovich has been catching steam, and people are realizing how good he is. So taking a closer look at this fight, I think it's going to be a lot closer than most people think. I think there's a bit of recency bias going on right now with Pavlovich. Sure he's a proven killer and can shut anyone's lights off, but I think it's also important to remember the guys he's faced, and the type of fighter that Curtis Blades is. I don't think guys like Lewis and Tai Tuivasa are bad fighters by any means, but those guys are brawlers. There's not too much to their games besides standing and banging. When you're doing that with a guy like Pavlovich, it's hard to be successful. Sergei's just bigger than a lot of these guys, and he has a longer reach as well. Not to mention he's slightly more technical. He's not a stand and bang type of fighter and likes to pick his shots. But if his opponents are just going to swing at him with little to no defense, it's easy to see how Sergei would be able to get those wins. Curtis Blades is not that guy. He's not the type of guy that wants to stand and trade in the pocket with you. He's going to have more calculated attacks where he's picking his shots and also shooting for takedowns, given how good of a wrestler he is. I am going to be taking Curtis Blades to win this fight. I think he's more skills all around, as well as more experience. I'm not counting Pavlovich out though, I just think that Blades is going to be too much for him at this point. I also think Blades knows this is it for him. If he goes out and wins this fight, there's a serious chance he gets a shot at the belt. And with all the uncertainty going on right now in the heavyweight division regarding John Jones and whether or not he plans to retire after his fight against Stipe, the path to the belt is more open than ever, with guys like Jones, Stipe and Ngannou even no longer in the picture. Curtis Blades has the wrestling to neutralize Pavlovich, and the weight difference between these two isn't big at all. So yeah, my pick is going to be Blades for this fight. Win or lose though, this should be an entertaining fight that will guarantee fireworks. There's not a lot of other fights I wanted to talk about on this card, but I'll mention one. Song Yandong and Ricky Simone was a fight I was super excited to see, but it got moved to next weekend to fill in for the Sarupian and Moikano fight that got cancelled. The only other fight I really wanted to shout out, I guess, is just Bobby Green vs. Jared Gordon. Bobby Green is always fun to watch, and he has super good boxing as well that isn't really appreciated too much. On the other side, I think we're going to see a very fired up Jared Gordon, who will be looking to make a statement following his controversial loss to Paddy Pimblett. Which really just shouldn't have been a loss. Anyways, that's all I've got for this video. There's not too many fights I'm super pumped for, but I'm sure it'll be an entertaining event nonetheless. There's also Tank vs. Garcia this weekend, so if there's any week for the UFC to put on a bit of a weaker card, it's this one. I want to thank you guys for watching this breakdown, and if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel. See you guys in the next one.